The serger does not backstitch, so there are times you need to secure your thread ends. I'm going to show you three ways to do that. The first way uh, is weaving. And so in order to do that, I'm going to be using a cruel needle, which has the large hole. Uh, it makes it easier to thread the serger threads through the needle. And then you simply take those threads, run the needle underneath the, the back side of the serging for about two and a half centimeters or so and pull them through. And then the extra thread there is simply snipped off. And I would do that on both ends. And that gives a nice, clean, neat finish. Another way to do it is to make a knot. And so to do that, you simply loop your serger thread, pull the end through the center, and then you want the knot to end up right on the edge of the fabric. So I usually just use my thumb in order to position it there. But another way to do it is to take a pin and put the pin where you want the knot to be. And then you pull and the knot will go right to that point where the pin is. And that's nice and close to the end. And then you simply snip off the extra threads. Uh, now this isn't quite as neat looking, but if it's on the interior of a garment, that's another way you can do it. Now the third method is probably the easiest, but my least favorite. So for that one, you actually start by snipping off your threads. And then you take a fabric glue. I'm using a brand that's called Freychuck. And you simply take that and dab it on your threads. And that will hold it. It stays in position even after machine washing. That will still hold. Uh, but as I said, not my favorite method for two reasons. One is it will slightly change the texture. It will be a little bit stiffer where that glue is used. And the other reason is partly just because I'm a little impatient and it takes a few minutes to dry and I always want to go and sew right away with it. I don't want to wait uh, for it to, to dry. So those are three methods that you can use when you're securing serger threads. Now there are times you don't need to secure a serger thread. If I was going to take this and sew across this uh, serging, uh, either with my sewing machine or my serger, that would secure the threads and I would not need to use any other method on it.